Hello YouTube, today we are creating a switchboard or control panel for our Microsoft Access database and it's very simple, it's very simple and at the end you'll, you'll appreciate how simple it is but to create a switchboard you always need to have some, some forms or reports in your database and as you can see on the left hand side here I've created just um, a simple employee table and uh, employee form and also employees report just to facilitate uh, this video. Now to create a form you go to create and then you go to blank form you click that and it will send you to a design page. Now in this design page is where all our creation is going to take place. Now the first thing that I want to do is first to create a title to give my switchboard a title and I go to my right hand side I click on the title here and you see it takes me to a space where I could write a title for my switchboard. Now I just give it a title switchboard just a simple uh, title. I click outside of that field and we have our title. And as I said, you can give it any title that you want. You can even call it your name, if that will uh, will help you. Um, the second step that you need to do, which is very important, is make sure that the use control wizard is always checked. And where is that? Is you come to this uh, button here, because actually it has to be shown it's one of these uh, control uh, wizards here but because the, the field is very small it's not shown there so you press that and it is here make sure that use control wizard is always checked so we check that and now we are good to go now what we are going to do is to start creating uh, buttons command buttons where when the button is clicked then it has to send us somewhere either to the form or to the report depending on what we want to do so let's create the first button on our switchboard you come to this rectangular uh, thing here which has four axes in it you click that and then uh, you go directly to where you want the button to be the buttons actually the, the buttons <laughs> actually they have to be in here so click anywhere you see it is there now it is very good that this happens because it shows us that there's something wrong with the use control wizard now let's go back to use control wizard and check what's happening because actually if the use control wizard was checked well then it should have sent us to a to a to a screen where we asked what do you want to do what do we want to do when the button is clicked but because this is not happening it shows that there's something wrong with uh, the control wizard so let's go back again and check the use control wizard again we click we click that and let's try to repeat what we just did so we go to um, to this button we click it we'll go back to our switchboard area we drop it now you see this is what it should have shown in the first place but it could be that we didn't click it very well or just something went wrong that's why it refused but now this screen asks us to what action do we want to happen when the button is pressed well what we want to is to to go to form operations and to open a form and you click on next well we only have one form so if we had much more than forms much more than one form they all forms would have shown there because we only have one form that's why we only uh, see one form displayed there so we just check that and it says do you want the button to find specific information to display in the form well um, we have two options here the first option will be to open the form and find specific data to display and the other option is to open the form and show all the records what we want to do is just to open the form and show all the records so we check that we go to next and here is where you uh, you choose what to 
uh, either to use text or picture as the button well we just go choose the text and it says uh, just open the form well let's just leave it as open the form so we go to next and uh, which name do we want to give for this uh, um, button well we just say we can just call it forms now we click on finish you see now we have our form here this one we can just delete it because the use control wizard was not well checked so we have our first button I want to create another button just for the sake of uh, this video well which actually is also one of the important button to to, um, to create uh, in my opinion is a button where you can exit the all uh, database so I go again to this uh, button here I press that I bring it to my uh, switchboard area I drop it there now it, what do you want to happen when the button is pressed I go to application I want to quit application so here it say quit application okay check that click that next well still I want just to use the text you go to next and then uh, I just call this exit and you see it says quit application here you see now we have two of our important commands to open the form and to quit application but as I said you could also create um, um, a button for reports maybe let's just do that so that uh, you see it's all similar you just go to this button again and uh, you drop it in here it takes you uh, to this page what do you happen what do you want to happen when the button is pressed I go to um, report operations and I want to open a report I go to next well we still have we, have, we only have one report click on next and then I just want to use the text open report click on next a meaningful name I just call it reports report actually not reports report and then I click on finish so here it says uh, open report so we have our um, our three important um, buttons there if we go to uh, to view we can view our our switchboard here and see how it looks like uh, you go to form view see open form click on that you go to your your forms you can close that um, open report you see it takes you to uh, to that report you click that and as I said I just want to click uh, click on this as the last thing as I said you can create many buttons as you want uh, to open the form to run a specific data on that form you can also use uh, the queries in our next uh, video we'll see how to run a report how to um, how to create uh, a switchboard button from query reports but now to click on this one it says do you want to save changes to design form you say yes so we call this uh, switchboard because we did we hadn't given it a name switchboard click on that one and then we are gone well thank you for watching